day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. It, 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 realistically, they did, and it was purposefully done. When you take the head away from the family, then the family has a tendency to fall apart. That's a biblical reference. It said that how can you plunder a strong man? I mean, a strong man's house, except you first buying a strong man. That's not going to work. I said that Black Lives Matter didn't do that. Black Lives Matter is really just saying you need to identify that the structure of a family is more than what you want to consider the idea of family. That's what. That if you read, the, have y'all read the website? No, I have not. Please do and read it. The other one is going to talk about the, uh, I guess, a little bit of queer Sunday day. I guess that I mean homosexual. And that's yeah. why I, I don't want to go with that <laughs> because it's said in the state is a backdrop for something else that's going to put on top of it and garbage. Right. And, and, and I and I really, I, I'm I'm tired of eating garbage. I ain't got it's, old now. It's, 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 a, it's a secular movement. It's just, it's, yeah, it's that, that, that's, yeah, that's what that's what we're trying to say. But I do disagree with the man concerning the nucleus family. We need to recognize that families consist of different types of structure. I do you know want the idea uh, of a father and a mother, but that may not always be the case. You remember the one situation when Will when there was and stuff. I think when, when Christ Christ presents us ideal scenarios, and knowing that we're not living up to them, we can't in our flesh. But He shows us what this thing is supposed to look like. When He yeah. said it, it was just, just for Father design in the beginning, though he, he allowed multiple wives. He said would well, that be one man and one woman? He told him that he, he hated putting away. Did He allow it? Yeah, He did because He knew the weaknesses of our flesh. What are we striving toward? We're striving toward all men are created equal. Yeah. Those are the things that was that God's kind of snuck into our that's sneak into our doctrine and our, our uh, in the beginning he made provision for us that we they weren't even aware that they were making. Those were truths that God somehow been worked into that little document that's supporting us in our in our rise now. The issue becomes we as a people are moving away from the very God that made those provisions for us and kind of set us aside to be brought up, put us in the presence of the rock. We are experiencing what we're experiencing yeah. more so because we are turning away from God. We, we, we as a people are hit, running headlong in the cardinality. Our preachers are more caught up with, with money and making money. They're worse than the, the, than the capitalistic society that we are enslaved to. Our own preachers lie yeah. like that. But Elder, so, I, tell you that, I tell you that structure though has been, this is going back, way back in Old Testament times of people being greeted for money, people being greeted yes. for power. We yes. talk about the fact is that that one man, one wife, one husband, one wife. We saw David, he had a whole bunch of kids, uh, children and wives. And, and you know, I'm just saying that structure been out there. So, so <laughs> the what, what, God, I, how did that work for him? How did that work for him? But I'm saying, the point I'm saying that website is just trying to say is that we need to recognize that that's how it is. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're going to have different family structure. And, and unfortunately for you, Elder, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, right now, for a long time, we had it for a long time, Sodom and Gomorrah, we had homosexuality in our society. So we can't sit there and erase them either. No, uh, no, you can't. You can't. So I'm so saying say Black Lives Matter is trying to incorporate secularly all the different things. And that's not a negative, Chris. That's just how it is. They basically just saying this is how life is, and we but the question becomes: how, how is the kingdom re represented? It, well, the kingdom. I think the first part of the kingdom should just first. I'm just saying is this: just incorporate the fact that God, the Creator, is who we all look up to. The problem we got to understand because of being inclusive, we know that there's people who are Buddhists. We know people that are Hindus. We know all that is there. But we just understand is that God is God, and He's in there, and He needs to be part of this movement. Let me ask you, it, 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 okay, I can. We're not inclusive. I think we're open for inclusion, but I think as a kingdom, we're not inclusive because we have an exclusive God. That's what causes us to be a thorn in everybody's side. It says you would be hated of all nations for my name's sake. We don't want to run around, but saying ain't but one way to God. It's, 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 
I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh into the problem by me. That'll set you up for some serious right. problems. Right, but if this, if this, if I'm talking about, if we go to stick with language with this movement, this is not a Christian movement. But we I do see. think that God needs to be in it, is all I'm trying to say. God, well, you, gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay with what, <clears throat> what falls in line with God's word. Now, Black Lives Matter. You can say that, that that's definitely that's falls in line with God's work. Because all, uh, you know, even though all lives matter, which is what God says, yes, because sir. God sent his son to die for the world. The world. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, but you can't say all lives matter and not say black lives matter. Because right. if all lives matter, then black right. lives matter. Right. I mean, you can't say all lives matter and not include black lives. You know, exactly. So if we say Black Lives Matter, then they can't, even though they want to say all lives matter, they can't deny exactly. that Black Lives Matter. Exactly. And I had that discussion with a with an older gentleman in the in the uh, commissary. Hey. You know, he's like, we say all lives matter. I said, well, then Black Lives Matter then. <laughs> no, so you're like, exactly. So you said that you're in agreement with me. All yeah. lives matter yeah. means Black Lives Matter. Yeah, but, it doesn't mean that. I'm not saying I do it understand that Black Lives Matter is more so talking about injustice. Yeah. Than, than not including these uh, Caucasian brothers and sisters because they don't fit in that category. <laughs> I'm sitting there. There, 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 there is something that the, the power of God does not back. The power of God is God is not obligated to back our word. He's obligated to back his own. Yeah. Black Black Lives Matter is not in the scripture. And so it, it becomes a distraction and also a point of of, 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 of of deception for blacks. Because you will not come out from under the bondage of the devil as long as you're looking to the devil for, for, for truth. And for, for guidance and for support. You gonna say something, Chris? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, gonna let, I'm, gonna let the, I'm gonna let the brother finish. Okay. So this, this is what I saw, and this is what I see. Black lives matter when black people are killing black folks because he says you shouldn't murder. Because in, in the kingdom of God, there shouldn't be murder. White lives matter when they have mass shootings in schools that take out 40, 50 people at a time. God did not die solely for blacks. So if we isolate that particular thing and say, okay, God's intent on this is such and such, Black Lives Matter, and ex exclude him from the picture, then why why would he back it? And what I'm saying is that this is a, and I'm, I'm just saying this from the kingdom's perspective, I'm not saying this from the secular perspective, because from the secular, I understand that. But is God expending his power in secular venues? Is he obligated to extend his authority to those environments when they don't acknowledge them. Well, That's you gotta use, Elder, you gotta get this, you gotta go back from Old Testament. Nebuchadnezzar was secular and God extended his power in there, right? He brought he him in. Was a, I think Nebuchadnezzar was secular. Don't you he agree? Brought, yeah, he was secular, but he was brought into submission. Yeah. And I think Pharaoh, hey, Pharaoh was, uh, was secular too, wasn't it? He? he was brought into submission as well. Well, then I think we need to understand is that God would take care of that part, but don't say God don't get involved through a secular means, is what I'm trying to say. Right? Because nah, Nebuchadnezzar nah. was the instrument. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, now, let, now, let, now let's see, I want to roll in because um, it's like you're talking a lot of negative about Black Lives Matter. Now, I'm going to go back to 1968, we holding hands. And the, and the, the church is leading everything. Yeah. But we ain't got nothing since then. Yeah, that's true. So, and, so, and that's so what now, I agree with. Yeah. Now with this group coming up, that they they decided that they are rattling things. I see more change happening in the last two years than I've seen in the last twenty five. Right. So right. you can't. So you cannot tell me that this is a bad thing. Well, well, let, 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 let me put it this way. There is a means that you can go about accomplishing an end that aligns itself with Christ and actually eternally elevates you. 
there's a means that you can go about accomplishing an end that excludes yourself from Christ and will give you a temporary fix. As my fight, if you employ those means, it might suck you into satanic practices. If we go into the same fight as our white brothers have been in for a while, employ the same tactics, we will come out no better than they have presented themselves to be. If we're going to rely on ourselves for guidance and for, you know, for strength, and if we're going to operate in our own authority, we will go the way of every other government and every other people that are raised up in the world system is going to be taken down. If we are to expect, and I think we should, this is Johnsonism, this is true Johnsonism. I believe that black people have been, in America, have been selected of God to lead people to him. I, I truly believe in my heart that we were brought here to this place and allowed to experience the things that we have experienced in order that we would submit to him, that we might lead the nations back to him. But, but, but Elder, 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 I mean, I'm tracking with you. I want to make sure if I keep a balance in there. Chris, I agree with you. Black Lives Matter is a positive and an outstanding movement. I support that movement. I'm just saying that I, I just wish we could incorporate more of God in it. But I do want to say that the church has not stood up to, to do what we need to do. And whether if, you, if you're talking about Blacks, I don't think if blacks don't stand up in the name of Jesus and march according to the power of God, just Very like Martin Luther King did, then we are negligent, we are behind, and therefore move and stick. Well, I guess Chris is like this if you ain't gonna step up, then we're gonna step up. Well, and, that, look that at is, it. and that is what they're doing. Now, another yeah, thing, exactly let, me this in, let me throw this in there. Now, like I say, a lot of things we say, you know, we want to bait, we want to use the kingdom, we want to do this. The kingdom is divided. Uh -huh. you know, like I told you, with, with me saying, problem. like I said, I don't want to call myself a Christian because I don't align with the rest of them that call them put The Falwells, yeah. all that. And I'm not with them. And, and I, I'll tell you that, I, I'm a believer, but I ain't with them Christians. So yeah. what am I supposed to call myself? Right. Exactly. I, I, think, I think I think, I think we, 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 what we call ourselves and then we call them out. Uh, it, it said judgment would begin in the household of God. And even Paul that money says, what's the judgment on brother? We are to do we are to do QAs on the way to thirty five ten checks is what we did in the service and when we were in service. You gotta check things. you got dust on your own your shoes. A lot of our people have dust on their shoes. You got these guys coming out and, and lining themselves with political uh um, right. figures who are so far away from God is ridiculous. They should be what should I say? They should pray for them. They literally should pray for them because we are admonished to do that. But they have to interact with them as ambassadors from the kingdom of God, and they're not doing that. They are aligning themselves and making a government, the United States of America, their, their, their what can I say, their land. But they, they take God out of it. It's a they part. They took God right? out of it. They, they, and they're, they're, cloaking, how, how they're cloaking that? God. They're cloaking the wrappings of God, but they're operating under the secular movement of politics. And, that's and that's what I'm saying is that well, God, that's the problem God, right there. That's right to do it too. You know, Black, Black Lives Lives got a right to do it too, because this is how we seem to be want to operate. And the church, if Black Lives Matter can't wait for the church to get its act together, it has to. Thank you. And it has to do what it has to do. But we're but we're not making room for God. That we're not making room for the Lord to move. Well, that's my recommendation. What do you mean, what do you mean, Elder? But you said you were not. Make, we're not making. We're not making place for the Lord to move. When Peter stood before Ananias and Sapphira, he stood as a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, and God killed him. It wasn't Peter or anybody else that took arms against him. God is showing us right now that we don't have to take up arms and employ the tactics of these people. All we have to do is follow him. And when we follow him, that's going to be inclusive because we're going to reach out for all the other lives and everything else, too. But first, we have to align ourselves with him. But I looked, that guy I looked, murdered that man on the street. I looked at that. So, so my question is, so, so how many how many more got to die? Yeah, no. How many more got to stand there? Exactly. The movement has to move now, Elder. Is is the now? Is is now? We have to move, and the people can't. The people don't have to wait for God the to move. Church. God is moving. I believe Chris, He is moving in it. I just think we should identify Him in it. But but the fact is, though, Elder, they are waiting. People are dying. They're and, waiting on the revelation of the story. Dying God. In the church is God. Up and say, God did not approve you murdering this guy. There is an eternal judgment for what that guy did. He murdered that man. But they want now, though. But see, I'm saying this. I agree with you. It ain't the sweet by and by right now. People like right now. 
I mean, I, 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 you know, I understood that. And, and Ananias and Sapphira dropped dead right then. It's not God. We think that God doesn't want to move. But why would he move if he's not going to get credit for the kill? If you understand what I'm trying to say? It's like he, he's not even uh, he's not even brought into the ring yet. He's still, still sitting on the wings over there waiting to go come in. And we're playing with everybody except him. We're calling out for every other name, every other faith, every other whatever, except Jesus Christ. These people taught us that murder was a sin. You understand what I'm saying? But yet now they are murdering and then they're trying to back that up. The things that they're doing make, belies their own existence. They are lying. These people that are up to listen to this guy with all that rhetoric, a house divided against itself shall not stand. That's a biblical principle. But the man is dividing the house and we got people in the church going along with that. We need to address our brothers and sisters on the right hand side of the church. If you understand yeah. what I'm trying to say, yeah. we can't allow them to feel comfortable doing the stuff that they're doing. That's garbage. Right. That is, that's jacked up. So and I think that's, and I think that's another right. God. We just got to call people into alignment with the God we got. I think.